Now, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but I got it downloading right now at livefish.com. The set list to me is very interesting. Something's going on with the pea fish. Opening up with Mike's song, taking that into back on the train into Week of Pog. Not that crazy, right? I mean, that's a badass fucking opener, but. So then they go wingsuit possum. I'd like to hear that transition. Can't wait. And then they go tube to my friend, my friend. This is all first, first, first set stuff, man. What's going on? You shouldn't see these little alligator symbols in the first set. Winter Queen, Beauty of a Broken Heart, Bowie, Golgi. That's how the first set ended. <clears throat> That's an interesting playlist, if you ask me. But then the second set starts with 555 directly into Chalk Dust, directly into Fago, into Twist, into Circus, into Piper, into Rift. Now, I've already read one comment by some fucking jackass on Twitter. It was like, Rift doesn't belong in the second set. I don't care if it was flawlessly played. Hey, man, eat shit, dude. You apparently don't realize what Fish is all about. Putting songs that don't belong in sets. Well, it's not that they don't belong, man. It's just that what you're used to in tonight, you got dropped on your head. That interests me. Twist, Circus, Piper, Rift. I like it in the second set. I like it coming directly out of Piper. I gotta hear this, man. What the fuck are they doing? Waiting all night? I could live without that. Reba? I know this is sacrilegious from a fish fan, but not a big Reba guy. Not into that song, man. To me, that jam gets a little boring, especially these last 10 years. Obviously, they haven't played the whole 10 years, but you get it. Then they end with character zero. See, that's the problem here. There's a theory going out there about Character Zero. When you got a bad set, man, you hit them with Character Zero. Everybody knows that fucking song, man. All the chompers will eat that shit up. Be like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Then a Loving Cup Encore. I don't know. I think the set list has got promise. I think it's what happened, man, is they fucked up. I think they might have played solidly, but these songs, despite me already bashing that guy on Twitter. Oh, this is insane, man. I'm so drunk and fucking high, I shouldn't even be talking about this. I haven't even listened to the show yet. I'm addicted to YouTube, man. And the pea fish. The general of jam, Jonathan Schwartz. Oh, what? Whoa, that was thumbs up. Fuck, man, I'm out of here. Alright, so I had a chance to listen to some of the songs last night. Listened to most of them. People seemed to take issue with the fact that I was skipping some songs. Few people didn't like that shit. So tonight I'm just going to roll through the highlights. Didn't listen to the whole show. I just went straight for the bread and butter. What people seemed to be thinking. The word on the street was Carini Ghost Steam. Couldn't do Steam. Had to go Carini Ghost though. No doubt about it. Opening up the second set. Carini's going places. You can feel it. A couple times back when they played that song, I thought, well, that's different. I've heard probably the last 35 Carini jams. And that last one was... Something new, and tonight extended that. A couple shows from now, Karini's going to blast the fuck off. It's going to be one of the new jammers of the tour, if it's not already. Then it went into Ghost. Ghost had its moments too, but then it built to a point where it kind of felt like they were a team on the perimeter, playing against the Syracuse defense, just passing the ball around, couldn't quite get to the rim. Although, hey, every now and then you hit a 20-foot jumper. That's what was going on in the Ghost. Harry Hood... What I look for in a solid hairy hood is that moment at the end where it's just going and going and going and people are getting nuts and nuts and nuts and at some point it either just hits that spot or it doesn't and tonight's did. I was pumped up with that. I was fucking loving it. At some point uh, they had to end it though. The song just kept going and you didn't want that moment to end. It was one of them hairy hoods tonight. I thought it was fucking badass. Then it ended had a fucking Julius Encore. Whatever. You knew... Uh, I figured it was going to go Julius Waste or something after I saw it was Julius, but nope, just Woolly. Ah, oh, damn it, here I go. I fucked up. You know, I said I was going to do highlights, and here I am complaining about the Julius Encore. It's disrespectful to the band, and I am in no way, shape, or form trying to disrespect the band. Except Paige, I will disrespect Paige at any given moment in any video. <laughs> You're warned, Paige. <laughs> Nights like this is definitely why we still love this band. Why I still love this band, anyhow. Haven't even heard a minute of the show and going absolutely crazy. Just over a set list alone. I came in a little bit late. I started out at 46 days following the journey through the night. Saw they played Fee and Curtain With to start things out. Some debate there. Some say it was a curtain. I see here they got With included. 46 days. 
Sometimes that song seems to drone on a bit. Tonight it must not have with the songs that followed. 555 into my sweet one. Sand, which has some funky moments, I'm sure, into Bouncing. Then at this point they did Saw It Again into Fago. You know, apparently I come home drunk Friday night and dropped a Fago on you guys. So now I'm Fago boy, apparently. Saw It Again into Fago. Then they decide to end the first set with YEM. The Fago must have been just going absolutely nuts if that's what they decided to do. In the YEM, well, that just led into a set break, which took you to Wilson, into Tweezer, into Back on the Train, Tweezer, Back on the Train, Tweezer, all these alligator mouse. I wouldn't have believed it. I'm glad I saw this one at a time. If I'd have just come home drunk, I'd have thought, ah, what's going on here? We got double alligator mouse at one point for some reason. So at some point, when they hit free, man, I just started taking bong hits. I was going nuts. Tweezer into Simple, then back into Tweezer into Free. At this point, The internet was having problems. I tried to Google last time Catapult played. Fishnet was saying, nope, no deal, not tonight, bud. Try another time. Slave to the traffic light. Into Down With Disease. The Down With Disease must have just been kicking some ass because they went in ICU. Hold your head up. At this point, they're just having fun. To end the night, Jennifer dances. Hold your head up. I'm sure Fishman was up there doing his shit. I've been around. And then the encore, they say they're not doing many covers, but they didn't, you know, I'd have been fucked tonight because I couldn't have left. After all that shit to end the seconds, after the whole night, I just couldn't have left on this one. I'd have been screwed. I'd have been back in the car, chilling, eating some burritos, boogie on, tweezer reprise, how it ended. I would never, ever, I've dodged some bullets, I would never walk out on a boogie on, tweezer reprise encore. It's unbelievable. The next couple of days, I'm just going to be completely fished fished out, listening to nothing but set two, probably. i got to check out if that's solid again, Fago, YEM. I could get rid of Bouncing, 555, my sweet one. <laughs> Wilson. Fuck yeah, man. All right, so I don't know if you saw my little recap video of the set list. I was intrigued as hell by this show. I had to check it out. The download finished. I listened to it. Did have to skip a few songs. Look, it's 3.30 in the morning here. I don't have all night. Started with Mike's song. Great intro. Could have been a hell of a show opener if you were there, I would imagine. The jam was pretty good. They didn't rush to the jam. But then they got into Back on the Train. Song that's just been <clears throat> on the rise, as they say. That song's been kicking ass. Tonight, it was just iffy. You know, the jam was all right. But then right into Week of Pog. Average Week of Pog. Cut short. Nah, I wouldn't say cut short, but just didn't go crazy with it. Just a standard Week of Pog. The band sat there, had a long conversation. It sounded like after that song, you could hear the crowd going nuts. Into Wingsuit. I pretty much skipped to the jam and Wingsuit. Felt like it was going to be the end of the set or something like that. I don't know. That's how that song feels. Perhaps that's the best spot for it if they're going to play it. Into Possum. I had to skip Possum. Just how many times? You can only hear that song so many times. Same thing with Tube. No problems with Tube. I dig that song, but looked like it was only five minutes. I knew nothing was going to happen there. Into My Friend, My Friend. This song was badass. You know, probably didn't sound like what it would sound like if you're listening to the studio album with headphones on. But the parts that mattered were the parts that were solid and they nailed it. The part, you know, that part about two and a half minutes in, you just kind of like, woo, woo. And they fucking, that song's bad as fuck. They nailed it. That was probably the song of the night for me. Doesn't always have to be a big jammer, some 18 minute shit. Some nights it can just be a song like My Friend, My Friend. And tonight's, that's what it was. Winter Queen went a little long for me. I was skipping through the jam a little bit. It sounded to me like it was just going to be what it's been beauty of a broken heart that's an all right song i listened to a few minutes of it a few minutes of it into david bowie and golgi golgi i had to skip a few minutes of both of them i didn't listen to golgi at all i listened to the first four or five minutes of bowie gave it a thumbs up and said all right five 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 jesus christ i'm looking at my notes here and i wrote down fishman heavy nobody will ever know what that means including me chalk dust torture now look <clears throat> these chalk dust tortures this is two in a row that went into that 15 to 20 minute range they're just not grabbing me by the balls yet so i'm thinking probably is what's going to happen this is what happens with some epic fish jams I'm sitting down I'm smoked a couple doobies i'm playing tiger woods <clears throat> woods playing tiger woods and all of a sudden 
I hear something and I look over and I see what's what is this you know and it's oh shit it's the chalk dust torture that's usually when I discover these jams into fuego I like the intro to that song a lot but the jams have just been whatever into twist another song I thought we were gonna get some gordo bombs we didn't circus I skipped that song then it went into the much ballyhooed Piper and Rift. The Piper was really short, probably less than five minutes. They were working into Rift there for the last 20 seconds. They got into it, man. Rift was pretty damn good. Uh, as I complained earlier, people weren't digging that. Rift doesn't belong in the second set, they say. And by they, I just mean one fucking guy, but I didn't agree with him. I wasn't happy about that tweet. And then, uh, yeah, that was pretty much wrapped up the show. You just call it a night right there, guys. That's what they should have done. They played Reba. I know a lot of people like Reba. I would have been like, fuck, man. Do I leave right now? What's going to be the encore? I probably should have just bailed during Reba if I was at this show. Because they went into Character Zero. Now, look, you're always going to get smacked right in the face with a Jordan slam dunk type. Trey going nuts on the guitar in Character Zero. And it happened. It was badass. I skipped right to the guitar solo in that song, and it was sweet. Loving Cup, I just wasn't doing it again. I've heard that song too many times. I've seen it live too many times. Fuck, man. So that was pretty much it. Piper Rift, giving it two thumbs up. My Friend, My Friend, felt it in the taint, giving it two thumbs up. Good show. I'm going to be in Georgia. I hope they play My Friend, My Friend that night. Somehow, if this gets back to Paige, sneak it in, dude. 